Welcome to Toronto Buzz. Once again, I'm your host, Khalid Mahmoud Atta, and uh, tonight we have another exquisite uh, program for you. Uh, before we start the program and introduce our guest, George Bernard Shaw once wrote that you use a glass mirror to see your face, but you use works of art to see your soul. And there's two individuals who are from the, from the arts industry. I welcome them to the show. Maggie Hebeda, welcome to the show. A great to, pleasure to be here. And Miss uh, Shirley Wu, thank you for being part of the show. Thank you for having me. Tell us about yourself. I mean, you are into photography, you are into social work, you're also uh, into arts uh, and promoting arts in the city. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I've been an, uh, a, a photographer for about 10 years, but an artist all my life. Ever since I can remember, ever since I was a little girl, I would draw uh, princesses, flowers, clouds, everything that was beautiful. And I so believe today uh, every woman is a princess. I guess it comes from childhood. So this is when this inspiration com comes from. Me being an artist coming from Poland, from a small village actually, mm -hmm. I, I didn't have much to be entertained with. Uh, I come from a big family of eight children, so I, the, the creative person that I was, I created my own world. And because I was an artist who struggled, who couldn't get accepted to an art school, I, I, this is why I support artists today. I so believe that the creative souls, the beautiful people that they are, the feelings that they have and share very much deep inside, I, they're, 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 I just support them. I love them so sure. much. Yeah. Awesome. Now, uh, Shirley, uh, you also are a first-generation immigrant. You come from originally from Pakistan, I believe. Uh, yes, uh, we, are, we, are, we are Chinese, but we moved from India to Pakistan, and awesome. uh, that's how we were brought up there, basically, and now moved to Canada. Sure. Now, the question to you is, as um, uh, Ms. Maggie pointed out, mm -hmm. is that uh, art is a creative process, and um, sometimes uh, when we are immigrants coming into a different set of environments, mm -hmm. Um, we don't get the opportunity that we were raised up with. It becomes totally different. So how do you cope as an artist? How do you cope with different atmospheres? Especially uh, your industry is makeup. So uh, first of all, how do you cope with the variations in, in, in your field? Oh uh, yes. First, we came back uh, when we uh, when when we when I moved to Canada. Um, it was first of all a, a lot of it's, it's a cultural change, change. and um, and working with. Uh, back in back in Pakistan was working with one set of people now is like so multicultural and then knowing them understanding them uh, was something I'm a I, I love to learn new things and it's always open I'm always open-minded and uh, for me to uh, to grasp all the different culture was very exciting mm -hmm. and uh, for me is like the learning process was amazing because my dad have always taught me that never uh, be afraid to learn and um, so th that that was one of the sure. things that it was, it was it was easy for me. But at the same time, there was a lot to learn. So it's very important to open up your horizons and learn. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Uh, Miss Maggie, um, talking about learning, um, I, I know that some people consider photography as a as a uh, abstract art. Uh, some people con uh, construe it as a, a different form of art. So what is photography to you? It is, is it more abstract or is it actually um, subject-based? I would say it's more feeling than anything. It's seeing beauty and capturing the beauty within people because everybody is beautiful. Sure. And mm -hmm. talking about learning, um, arts is, some people say that arts is a creative mm -hmm. process and it comes with you when you're born. But can you actually learn an art form? Like can you be a photographer if you if you don't have the photography sense from the very beginning? I believe that um, talent is 10%, 90% is work, education and work. Without the 10%, uh, no amount of work can help you to achieve to be very incredibly skilled sure. artist sure. or vice versa. If you have 90% of talent but you don't work on it, I don't know how helpful that <laughs> will be. Sure. <laughs> so uh, that's sure? my belief. Sure, perfect. Majority, uh, in makeup industry, we see that there's a lot of people out there who are doing this uh, as a business as well. Uh, some of them are very professional and the results are very professional. Mm -hmm. Others are not so much. Mm -hmm. um, the creative element is there, but somehow the results don't show up. Mm -hmm. So what is key? What is most important 
um, for someone in this industry to show results? What is the most important aspect? I believe in um, that y whatever you do, you should do it from your heart and um, success will follow. And do, uh, I mean, th that's, that's what I, I believe in. And uh, do you agree? We both believe <laughs> the yeah. same thing. Yes. Yeah. So Very much. and then um, the makeup, uh, like, and also like it says, it's about skill, about how much you love, and about putting love, you sure. know, onto something. And then when when you put love into your work, it will show. Sure. Now uh, some days you are, you have a bad mood or something, right? And does that reflect in uh, in your results also? Uh, well, you know, my, uh, okay. we were taught from from our very childhood that if you do something you do f you do it right and um, if not don't do it so when you get up in the morning you uh, you do a little uh, I don't know what you call like a little mm. yoga like a little sure. deep breathing and all that and not uh, get any bad mood affect your work sure and so whatever you, you do uh, yeah whatever like if, if you have bad mood leave it at home or leave it and when mm. you come to your when you come to work when you work on somebody you focus on that thing so, so you have to prepare for absolutely, your day every day. Absolutely. Miss right? um, Maggie. Just sure. wanted to, uh, sure. if Go I ahead. may. Please. Thank you. Uh, bad mood is a choice. Sure. So, so you <laughs> which is not you, you to can, have it. You can make that choice every <laughs> yes, day. Yes, for sure, so every time. Now, um, tell us, show us a little about uh, some of your stuff that you've done. It, the audience would love to see some of your photography oh, works. Sure. Thank you, I would love that. I, I just That's read a few beautiful. books. Sure. Uh, this book is of a little girl, Victoria, classical portraiture. Wow. All it is is, is close-up portraits showing it, her expressions. And this and is all photography? How beautiful. Yes, it is. Wow. The books are printed in Italy by, by Album Epoca. It's a wonderful company. It looks so supernatural, like th like a painting drawn mm -hmm. from a brush. Uh, what I specialize in, of, uh, in of course, it's the portraiture, but it's it's the post production that brings it to the next level. Yes. Shooting is one thing, sure. but also having a vision and what happens with them afterwards is what brings it to the next level. Perfect. That's so amazing. this is just uh, one. That's amazing. I would love to show a few of business portraits. Sure. So again, this is Abu Mepoka, beautiful, heavy. Uh, this is myself oh, yes. <laughs> opening okay. the book. I'm not going to show every page, but there's. Um, I just want to show a few people. This is the owner of Abu Mepoka, okay. and this is the um, Canadian distributor, Apis. Mm -hmm. This is our mayor, Vokro, because okay. I belong to two cities. Okay. I have my studio in Oakville, but I live in Mississauga. Okay, that's awesome. So Patrick Very Brown. Nice. Mr. Brown is there. Okay. Photographing, sure. you know Shredha, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. She was part of my Colors of Love concert. Okay, very nice. Huh? Brian, Brian Cohen. of course. Yes. You know, this Michael famous Benson. Michael. Wow. Yes. And who is this? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Shredha there she and is. her <laughs> sisters. <laughs> sister. Yes. Okay. The creative awesome. genius, yeah. this. I don't that's need to wonderful. go yeah. through the yeah. whole book, but it gives an idea. That expresses it uh, that you are um, amazingly talented oh, and uh, very gifted. And uh, I think that um, uh, to do photography at this level, not everybody ca has, has the knack to do it. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has the ability to do it. And not everybody has the passion to do it. I've seen photographers all around. Mm -hmm. But something like this has to come from an intense passion. So Definitely. tell us a little about your, your passion. As I mentioned before, I, as a little girl, I drew princesses. And one day, that was about 10 years ago, I saw the real life princesses, which were the brides. And, uh, and very quickly, I wanted to find out how could I create real life princesses? Yes, by being a photographer. So I called up Sheridan College, and I discovered that there was a wedding, to my surprise, that there was a wedding photography class. This is where I met my teacher, Ian Cuthbert, who's working with me. He's the studio manager, and he's, he's, he's helped me a lot um, at the studio, helps me a lot at the studio. And uh, it, when, I, when I 
uh, we got into weddings uh, after uh, this uh, maybe six month course, part time mm -hmm. course. I met Shirley. I, it was I think my second or or third mm -hmm. wedding that I met you, and I was uh, I I was just so thrilled with uh, with brides uh, in white gowns at the beginning, but then I discovered there was so much more. Mm -hmm. There were different cultures, so colorful and amazing, and and I actually have become. I was uh, like the South Asian wedding photographer where I was told I could never make it because I didn't speak right. the language or I didn't belong to the culture. But the more I was told that, I said, who says that? I love m people, I love multiculturalism, and the bride is second to nine. How she looks, how she's created as a princess. Th they were the breathtaking princesses to me. Mm -hmm. And so so th that's how we met with yes. Shirley through that. It's been a long time and we've done lots of things together, not just weddings, because about five years ago, I moved away to, away from weddings, not mm -hmm. five, maybe four, when I opened my studio in Oakville, because I decided to photograph in a studio, to photograph people, portraits, sure. and people come to me rather than me going to them. Sure. As weddings became, you know, very lengthy hours of photographing, often sometimes, Sure. maybe even 18 to 20 hours. Sure. We're in a studio, the, short, the sessions are shorter. And sure, and now mm -hmm. um, um, Shirley, uh, yes. she introduced you as uh, her jour journey started, oh. and uh, you were part of her journey, journey in photography as well. Big time. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your start. I mean, I know that you come from a family which was into makeup and oh, all that. Uh -huh. uh, what was your uh, beginning like? Well, my beginning was like, I was really, well, you can say like uh, I had, people actually said that, do you have brushes when in your hand when you were born? Like, you know, when I <laughs> taught them how many years I've been doing in, in, in the beauty industry. Um, yeah, so when I was little, I was very fascinated because uh, uh, living in, in Pakistan was like, you know, beautiful clothes and they were saris and then we, we used to watch Bollywood movies and mm -hmm. all that. So I used to get inspired by sari. I would even uh, at times use a, a bed sheet and make sari out of it like you know and mm -hmm. I will curl my hair into rollers and all this big uh. hair and all that stuff so afterwards when I was 14 and uh, we have like you know a few family circumstances and issues that I was uh, you know to do into to put into like hairdressing and all that which was actually I'd never ever regretted it because I love it so much mm -hmm. like you know and sure. so from there um, basically doing weddings and brides uh, one of my cousin was my mentor and she was an amazing lady so I was at, at the salon and then when I was in my teenage 17 um, we opened a salon with my mom sure. and at that time same thing people said oh she's so young she could never make it and all that but with my passion and love and you know not not been afraid of working hard made it and did a lot of work sure. and uh, finally came here did the same thing you know um, and then meeting a lot of south asian people and then uh, that's how it is so beautiful to make them look you know like like princesses <laughs> really yeah we've wedding. seen uh, we've seen uh, maggie show us a little bit about the uh, work that she's done and the yeah. celebrities and yeah people that she's photographed. Yes. Tell us about yourself. Uh, any big names that you've worked on and are big uh, events? A big events, yeah. We do, uh, like, um, in the magazines, um, some of the, like, uh, South Asian, uh, I've done in Suhag, in, uh, used to be Kismet, in uh, uh, Fuja magazines and uh, fashion shows. Uh, we do uh, some of the celebrities like Lisa Ray, oh, really? uh, yes, and, um, and we have quite a few. Sure. Aswetha we did for her, mm -hmm. and some, uh, uh, oh, Nindi Kaur, uh, another Nindi, yeah. Sure. So, so there's quite a few. Yes. Now, um, uh, Maggie, uh, what is it that keeps you going? Like, I know that you have a passion for certain things, um, at a certain point in your career, don't you think that you've done enough sometimes? And then uh, what carries you on? What keeps you going? 
I just it, it the, the it's the passion. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the morning. I can't wake up. I can't wait to wake up <laughs> to go to the studio. Sure. I long long hours. Mm -hmm. I work long okay. hours, but I I run out of hours in the day sure. to do what I really need to do. Mm -hmm. It's the people. Sure. It's the people to see their happiness after a shoot, mm -hmm. how thrilled they are. Yeah. Sometimes when someone says to me, "Oh, I'm not photogenic. I look awful in pictures. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be photographic." that's my perfect client because when to see the yeah. transformation when uh, yeah. yes when they see themselves in the picture and they love it and uh, this is the joy and mm -hmm. to be able to create to to take something that is it, it's never the same right yeah. a subject matter or the moment the moments sure. are never the same sure. now some sometimes when we are in the creative mm -hmm. industry and mm -hmm. uh, you know we, we we don't get the acknowledgement or the reward that mm -hmm. we deserve sometimes a uh, lot of people are very skilled, but yet they get uh, mm -hmm. overlooked. Uh, I recently heard that uh, Maggie has been nominated for a certain award. Uh, tell us about the award and tell us about your nom nomination. Oh, thank you so much. I have been nominated for, uh, actually I, I, I am receiving the award, Top Choice Award. Uh, awesome. Second one, uh, thank you, Brilliant Minded Woman. Mm -hmm. um, Marty's Awards nominated. For th it's an event that's taking place May 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, fabulous. Sure. Uh, Oscars <laughs> is like Oscars <laughs> for <laughs> for Mississauga sure. artists. It's on the 19th. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. And what was the fourth one? Anyways, you got a lot of accolades and uh, uh, kudos to you. These for are the, the recent ones. Right. Right. Yes. So kudos to you for your work and uh, the amazing things that you've brought into this community. Mm -hmm. uh, your creative element uh, about yourself, uh, Shirley. Uh, what what are some of the things that you feel accomplished doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there are little like the, the every day. There is always like the accomplishment, sure. you know, like it's an every day, every day, thing every day, every day thing, every day bright uh, people that comes in and sit in my chair, and then they and then you know they they feel That's so beautiful right and there. they're so rewarding. And yeah. I said, oh, I have accomplished something. <laughs> like and sure. when I go to bed, I feel like so good, like sure. you know, and then wake up. So uh, yeah, that. And then again, I've been uh, like what Maggie is saying. I've been nominated at the Marty Awards, which awesome. happening on the nineteenth. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the other, actually last month I was been awarded, uh, got an award for, um, at the PCHS um, uh, Women's Award for International Women's Day. Awesome. Um, so that was one Amazing. of that. Yeah. Now you're also uh, part of uh, a charity and you work, do some volunteer work as well. Tell us a little uh, bit about yes, that. Yes, yes. Uh, so we, we do charity. I mean, I, uh, it's for my own. I like to help women, empower women, and uh, do makeovers for them and see, uh, you know, and, and help them uh, be able to look, uh, to, uh, to feel confidence, to be able to find jobs and mm -hmm. uh, be, uh, we have that woman that feels from the inside and the, and the outside. Sure. Um, so the empowering them and then helping, uh, I have few girls that have come to our salon to help them, to mentor them um, in terms of like uh, being uh, be a stylist and how they can be uh, at work, you know, have that confidence of working and uh, training that you know all about life and not just uh, not just work it's all about life and health with happiness and love all together sure. and I, I am pretty sure that uh, your industry makeup is mostly women dominated but do you think that men are also interested in becoming makeup artists these days as well as uh, being uh, make up themselves. Be make up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, you know, to, uh, so these days actually a lot of when we when we doing brides, the groom actually comes in and they they want to do themselves. And then we do see a lot uh, of people now that are very interested into doing makeup and like uh, you know hair and makeup industry. Sure, so sure. and it's it's, mm -hmm. it's an amazing um, sure. industry. I f I, sure. I feel I believe. Sure. Maggie, any interesting experience you want to share with the audience? Experience, like as an anything example. that uh, exciting happened in your industry, something that you did w was really different, or uh, something that you want to share. Oh yes, definitely. There are many happening. You mentioned my industry. Would it be the photography? Because also, I, I am part of something that is a, a bit different than my sure, my own business, that. and that is Colors of Love. It's an international concert that I've organized two years ago and now Colors of Love is coming back oh, in nice. October 16th. That's awesome. a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
So what are the preparations done or are you in the planning phase or what's happening? Yes, we have monthly meetings for Colors of Love and mm -hmm. they grow, they started from four people now up to 60. Okay, and awesome. so it's just um, our, our group that are uh, that is promoting the concert. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to say what, what this is, if I may. Sure. Uh, Colors of Love International Concert is a ce celebration of life, love, and multiculturalism through the performing arts. Mm -hmm. It is the universal language that binds us all together, regardless of our differences. Mm -hmm. And it's not another cause, it's a mm -hmm. celebration. And I'm there to, I want to share Much love. Much needed. Sp yeah. Spread love for the people, sure. yes. Sure. Um, awesome, that's a great uh, initiative and I wish you good luck and hopefully we'll be part of that initiative as mm -hmm. well Thank sometime you. and um, Shirley, uh, yourself, uh, if you have any final words for the audience, uh, anything that uh, people in your industry were up and coming mm -hmm. uh, could get some inspiration from or some, some message that you want to give to the upcoming people. Well, uh, I would uh, especially say. Especially the girls. Yeah, the <laughs> girls. Yeah, uh, oh, makeup is uh, is growing like anything. Is like you you see everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. and I would oh, like my message is to say that you know if you have that passion, go for it, and never be afraid to work hard and uh, and achieve your uh, go for your dreams. And um, sky is the limit, and just keep growing. Awesome. If I may son sure. say something about Shirley. Mm -hmm. Shirley Wu is not just a makeup artist. She's a magician. Sh she's she's a, a, a beauty expert that changes people's lives, mm -hmm. touches one life at a time. And I am the example of it. Before, uh, uh, we've known each other for many, many years. We worked together for many, many years. Mm -hmm. But about uh, a few years back, she started doing my makeovers that I started to see myself in a totally different light. Right. As much as I so believe that every woman is a princess and mm. every woman is beautiful. I, I was a shy person. I didn't see myself as such. Mm. I go to events. I, I uh, take lots of pictures of myself, selfies. They're not <laughs> selfies, really. <laughs> they're, they're created with my assistants um, uh, clicking the shutter mm. and me doing the post-production. But surely has changed my life. And if I may show an example, I don't sure. have much here with me, but that's one of them. Uh, I try to do my own hair makeup at some point it was for a cover of a magazine mm -hmm. and the results even Photoshop couldn't help mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you did that it you must so remember cute. this time this is one of them oh that's for the Oakville voice cover look at this I, I did oh. not bring many wow. but how diverse so different all this looks. makeup is done by Shirley and photography by yourself oh uh, yes uh, awesome. by Photographia Boutique my assistants uh, and so this is what I wanted to share oh, to share you. about Amazing. Shirley. She's an extremely loving mm -hmm. person that um, you come to her studio, you not only get to look stunningly beautiful, you get to be fed, she takes care of you, she makes sure that you're relaxed and this is all extremely important. Mm. This She's is more like important. a sister, it's a family, yes. Yeah, that's more yeah. important to get somebody comfortable and you know, uh, be themselves when you're doing a uh, job like that uh, and kudos to you Shirley. And oh, uh, thank you. Uh, she's I given you great oh, reviews. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from the heart. It comes from the heart. Same thing goes with Maggie. She's an in incredible person, sure. very loving. I'm sure she is. Yes. And Maggie? Yeah. We uh, work very well together yeah. on Any shoot, final so. words on the upcoming people for we also w we would like to say something about the Martys coming up on May 19th because uh, we are both nominated for an award and also we are ambassadors. Whatever you do, mm -hmm. yes, believe in yourself okay. is what I would say. Thank you so much, Maggie. Thank you so much, Shirley, for being Thank part you of the show. For having us. With this, uh, two phenomenal individuals, uh, this is the end of our show. Until next time, I'm your host, Khalid Namutra. Keep watching Toronto Buzz. Number one multicultural channel. This is DAG TV.